Her name is Terry Jones, and my famous photographer is Marissa Antonio. She's an American photographer based in Illinois. I chose this photographer because she focused on capturing young women in their mid-30s. All of her photos look very natural and personal, like they belong on a family photo album. Marissa Antonio was born February 12, 1953 in St. Louis, Missouri. This year, she is 66 years of age. Her parents' names are William Thomas Penny and Mary Ann Hilburn Penny. She grew up with eight other siblings. She lived in Scarsdale, New York for the first six years of her life after moving from her birthplace a year after she was born. Her family moved to Palo Alto, California for two years after living in Scarsdale. They finally settled in Evanston, Illinois. Penny was brought up in a Catholic household and attended an all-girls Catholic school for the majority of her schooling. She attended the University of Illinois at Columbia College, Chicago, and Manhattan Hill College in Illinois. She married a man named Roger, and together they have one daughter. The daughter's name is Emma. Her work is heavily influenced by her daughter's life. Her most famous work regarding Emma is a collection that observes young women in condition. Melissa Ann Penny was always surrounded by art throughout her childhood, with both of her parents being lovers of art themselves. She first became interested in photography when discovering a photography book from the Museum of Modern Art. Penny creates scenes from everyday mundane situations. She emphasizes the simplicity of life and captures emotions skillfully. Her daughter Emma served as a main subject in her Feminine Identity series. Her earlier photos were influenced by Julia Margaret Cameron. Her style of photography is very documentary-like. She uses a multitude of techniques to create eye-catching visuals, specifically catching color and hues very skillfully. She contributed to photography by revealing the feminine identity in these raw, simplistic photos. She makes art accessible to everyone. Melissa and Penny feels that she works to inspire by showing lots of different work by diverse photographers from all over the world. She also states that she shoots a lot of images and works best when responding to what's around her rather than a preconceived idea. Penny's artwork requires her audience to kind of self-assess their own lives. Her photographs are personal and meaningful to her, but somehow yet applicable to others. I enjoy her artwork the most because it reminds me of the photos I have at home in my photo albums. My mother took pictures of my family similarly to the way Penny takes pictures of her subjects. This is one of Melissa Ann Penny's photos titled Evanston, Illinois, 2006. The photo shows two young girls playfully posing with oversized scarves. The dominant element of art shown is color shown in the middle of the of the photo. The yellow scarf is the center of attention. The dominant principle of design shown is rhythm and movement with the girl on the right being blurred. The scarves are blurred on the subjects in the middle ground. The compositional technique being used is formal balance. The photo has equal weight on both sides of the photo. This artwork represents the innocence of childhood. It focuses on the blissful moments of young femininehood. This is one of Melissa Ann Penny's photos titled Evanston, Illinois 2009. The photo shows two teenage kids in front of a green wall in a dimly lit area. The dominant element of art is texture. It is shown in the background of the photo on the green brick wall. The dominant principle of design is contrast. The subjects are pictured in dark clothing in front of the vibrant green brick walls. The, composition, the compositional technique being used is medium shot. This photo shows the culture of young black kids in Illinois. The young man has a picture of a black artist on his oversized shirt. The two kids are probably at school. Oh.